Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Pütz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about what skills do you need if you want to become an information technology business analyst. A business analyst role in information technology is really one of those hybrid roles between information technology and the business side. And if you are looking for an easier way to get into information technology, the role of the IT business analyst is actually quite a good opportunity for you to move into this field, especially if you already have experience as a business analyst or analyst of some sort, because that's really where that hybrid connection comes in and you can make that move easily without having to go through all that knowledge transfer that you potentially need for a specialized role in information technology. But before I go and talk about the skills that you need as an IT business analyst, if you don't mind hitting that like button for the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, I would really appreciate it. So now let's take a look at what is an IT business analyst at all, what is involved into the role and we're just touching this high level. And then we're taking a look at the specific skills that you need and you can then take a look and see how it matches up with your existing skill set, what you have on your resume and potentially fill the gaps according to then make that move into information technology. So what really is the role of an IT business analyst or information technology analyst? So more and more organizations are really trying to fill the gap between the business side of things and the information technology side of things. And it's really a change in mindset where organizations are not just seeing information technology as the sole technology provider. No, it's more a service provider to the business. And that's where the role of the IT business analyst comes into play. So the IT business analyst is being hired to helping solve problems between the business and information technology. So let's take a look at the different systems that potentially go across the different areas. So it's not just like a server or data center related application. So let's look at something like SAP or Salesforce or Oracle from an ERP perspective. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning and it's a system that connects potentially manufacturing, finance and a lot of other portions of the business together. So it's a very complicated and complex information technology system. But the main customer is the business, is let's say the finance department or on the production side of things. So that's really where when you roll out a system like this, there's a lot of complexity involved and the IT side probably doesn't know enough about the business side and vice versa. So the expectation that the business side has from IT might not be able to be um, matching up with what exists on the business or on the information technology side. So the IT business analyst fills that gap. It's uh, somebody that lives on both sides of the spectrum a little bit. The IT business analyst is not going deep down into the technology itself, but knows enough, let's say, to be dangerous on the information technology side so that this individual can help the business side to understand what IT is looking for, what IT needs, what IT can provide so that this system rolls out. And so ERP is just one of those. And ERP, if you have been involved in one of those rollouts or transitions or migrations, you know how complex these systems are. If you work as an IT business analyst, you work on the IT side of things, but not deep down into the technology. You work on the business side of things and maybe a little bit more there actually, but that's really where you can make that transition into information technology. But that's really the role. It's a hybrid. It connects the two departments, I want to say, and uh, that's really where you can put your strengths into play and deliver a significant amount of value to the business. So the role of the IT business analyst helps a business really to get more efficiencies out of the IT systems. It helps the employees to have a more productive work environment so that really the value that they create is significant. And that's really the important piece for the business analyst to understand. It's like you're providing a dramatic value to the business if you are put into the right place. And that's an important part if you want to go and migrate into an information technology business analyst role. You need to make sure that you are in the right environment, that both sides have the appropriate understanding. You need the support from the IT side. You need the support from the business side as well. But that's in the middle where you are and that's where you have to deliver the value. And that's where the responsibilities of yours are. And um, well, that's where you can really make that difference for the business. 
So, but now let's go and have a look at the skill set that you need as an information technology business analyst. And then we'll take a closer look at certain areas specifically on the IT side so that you can gauge, okay, that is something I want to get into or that is something where I want to increase my knowledge because that's an area of interest for you. So the most important skills for an information technology business analyst are, and this is not in specific order, the most critical skills for an IT business analyst are oral and written communication skills. So you need to be able to communicate with both sides. You almost need to translate between the IT side and the business side sometimes. So your communication skills are super, super critical. Related to that really your interpersonal and consultative skills. So you have to be like a consultant in a way. You have to be able to explain things, but also push the business, push the IT side in the right direction. So your expert skill set that you have to develop over time really comes in critical. And those interpersonal skills, really gauging a room, knowing how IT works and how the business side works and uh, the different lingo and how people potentially respond to pushback and, and related pieces. So very, very critical. And then on top of this go facilitation skills. So really when you have two diverse groups meet, you need to be able to facilitate a productive outcome of these meetings out of these projects. So very, very important. And then as we come into the analyst side of things, really analytical thinking and problem solving, potentially looking at the different data sets that you are tasked to look at, visualize them and help them to help the business to move forward by translating the visualization into words and proper understanding for both sides so that the IT side knows what the business wants and vice versa. As a business analyst of any type, you have to be really detail oriented and you have to be capable of delivering your work with a very high level of accuracy. So there is not much room for mistake. And that's one of those responsibilities, I want to say, where some people really thrive because the attention to detail that they have really comes in helpful here and really makes a difference. So look at these items and make sure that, yeah, that is something you're interested in. Because again, you're the hybrid between the business and the IT side. If you are not delivering value, if you lose the trust of either side, it becomes very difficult for you to succeed. So there is a great level of responsibility involved here. And I think that makes the role really interesting as well. Additional skills that you really, really need to have are good organizational skills. You're almost working like a project manager in one way, or you're working very close with the project manager. So really being able to organize the different pieces of these projects or the systems that you support that is super critical. And then of course you need to understand the business structure. How is the business structured? Who are the partners and key players that you need to involve? Who are the partners on the other side, on the information technology side? And it's not just rolling out new systems. Once systems go into production, it's not like, okay, I'm done, I'm walking away. That's not how this works. So you have to be really in that driver's seat and make sure that you communicate with the individuals on each side and then understand where they're coming from, what is their role and what value can you deliver potentially. Understanding your stakeholders is very, very critical. And you as the IT business analyst, you have stakeholders on each side of the spectrum. So make sure that you really know your people, that you understand their roles and really know what is the driving power behind their intentions and what do they want to achieve. So what are their goals out of the different pieces? So now we come to the more technical side of the skill set that you need to have as an IT business analyst. So you need to be able to engineer solutions and you will not be the main systems architect to engineer those solutions, but you will be part of that team that looks at the different requirements from each side and then help really build that final product. And the work of building the product is different. You are more there to really analyze, provide input here and there, and then help driving this forward. Related to that, you need to understand the cost structure, the cost benefit analysis. That's something that goes into your area. So you have to look at, okay, what is required from a business 
budget perspective. What budget does the IT side need? When you start a project in the middle of the year, is there even budget available? So, and then really what is the, the cost associated with it? And what are the benefits? And not just in the short term, but long term, so that you can provide that information and show the value that this project delivers and also show the value that you can deliver because you're the one who makes this type of analysis. You have to do process modeling related to that so that you can play out different scenarios. How's the economical environment around your company impacting uh, everything? So let's say the economy, the larger economy goes into like a small recession or a larger recession and there are pieces that come into play that you have to think about and that you have to provide. Then your IT side really, you need to understand the basics of networking, databases and other information technology pieces so that you really know, okay, that system has complexity. Does it live in the cloud? Is it an on-prem system? And you need to have the right lingo available that you can communicate with the IT side. They want to trust you. You need to be able to build up that trust and then maintain it. So you want to make sure you understand the, not just the basics, a little more than the basics of the IT side for your role here. And then really a good understanding of how the different information technology systems interconnect with the business. It's not just this one system that you roll out, but there could be dependencies or if areas in information technology change, how does it impact the systems that you are responsible for that you have helped to deliver to the business? So very, very critical that you understand the information technology side. And there are different ways how you can acquire this knowledge. And so I hope you get a good understanding of how the role of an IT business analyst looks like and what are the skills that you need as an information technology business analyst. So yes, you need to have a strong understanding of the business side. So if you look at the role and you say, okay, it's a business analyst role. And yes, you're absolutely right. There's a big, big portion where you need to be the business analyst. But then you need to have that knowledge on the IT side and have a better understanding. How does information technology work? How do the people think and tick on this side of information technology? Because when the these groups come together, that's really where your hybrid role is so critical, not just in defining and engineering a solution and delivering it, but really long-term support, building those relationships. Once you build up that trust, it will translate into more successful projects down the road. So very, very critical. So do not underestimate the value of an information technology business analyst. So I hope this gave you a good idea of what is needed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I would really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.